Hey, yo, what's up, I'm Squat. So, obviously, you guys have seen the last three rounds. Um, obviously, I think this is why they make three rounds because you assume after two rounds, after three rounds, you know, it would break even. Unfortunately, like I said, for our case, um, like I said, this is my opinion. I believe we, we, it was a tie between him face and sword and shield. Um, so, what I did was I opened up a ultimate premium uh, collection pack. That's the one with the Rayquaza statue in the middle. Um, I opened one of my art, my own because I was like, how else am I going to packs? Because I have a lot of sealed packs. So I have 15 here. Um, obviously, I will not be opening 15. But instead, what I'll do is I'll open up three of the birds. And uh, usually we're opening 12 of these. So we'll open 10 Sword and Shield and three of the um, Hidden Fates packs. So let's get to it. Let's see who will finally come on top. Alright guys, so kind of like I was saying before, um, <laughs> we had a tie, like I said, it was my opinion, um, obviously um, there might have been some comments, there may have not been, there might be some likes, some dislikes, but um, at the end of the day, I'm still having fun opening these, so, um, you know, like I said, comment below, let me know what you guys think, was there a clear winner, was there not, um, was this final round, actual final round necessary? Um, so kind of like I was doing before, before I was opening 12 packs, so after every 6 I would open the light, the 4 from the Hidden Fates. Um, so in this instance I'll do 5 of Sword and Shield, and then I'll get into the other 3 for Hidden Fates. So, uh, let's get to it real quick guys. Um, also you guys can see in the back, I have, uh, this is something I've been mentioning to you guys before. There are, um, I'm kind of eh, diving into like magic cards as well. Um, you know, I was telling you guys, obviously I like... Yu-Gi-Oh! So I was looking to start doing some openings. Um, haven't gotten any comments. <laughs> kind of saying yes or no um, because I haven't gotten any comments. But it's cool, like I said. Um, so that's why I also have Magic that I'm getting myself into as well. Um, I have there the uh, obviously Magic the Gathering Gift Edition Throne of Eldorain. Um, I have two of those uh, Gift Editions and as well as uh, Theros Beyond Death. So. Um, I know the gift edition Throne of Eldering, there's some great pulls that could be um, that could be uh, that you could get from that that pack itself. Um, so let me know. Let me know if that's something you guys be interested in me doing. Um, obviously you can tell I <laughs> I have some money to spend <laughs> if I'm buying all these things. So let me know guys. Uh, like I said, I'm just trying to build this channel up. I'm trying to see if you guys are enjoying it. Like I said, I've been getting some likes. Not that many people are viewing it as much as I was hoping, but like I said, that's how the game goes. You know, once you're new to the game, to YouTube, it takes a while for you to get yourself out there. Um, so like I said, I'm in no rush. I am being patient. And like I said, I appreciate all the views I've been getting from the few individuals. Um, ooh, okay guys, so, um, I sort of like VMAX. Like, I don't know why I keep forgetting what I pull and I don't pull. Um, this is a beautiful looking card, no, nonetheless. Um, the Snorlax V card, V Max, um, it's such a great looking card. The the Gigantamax of Snorlax and Sword and Shield the game, it's first one that came out in Sword and Shield the game. So um, I'm excited that I pulled this card. Like I said, I can't remember if I have it or not because, like I said, I watch so many of the other videos of YouTubers that sometimes I just always think that <laughs> their pulls are my pulls. No, I I don't know. I have a problem. So obviously, I'm gonna put it back there. Um, so the VMAX, like I said, it's a really good card to pull. Um, it's, you, you, like I said, it's a really good card to pull. Um, that was in our second pack. So that's a great way to, um, you know, begin our, our quest to see who gives a better pulls. Is it Hidden Fates? Or is it um, Sword and Shield? Um, also, something you guys are like aware of, like, um, when you're opening the Hidden Fates and the Tins, usually you're guaranteed like two really good pulls, like two good packs that will give you, um, you know, some type of GX or Shiny. Um, I don't know how the pack situation works with the Ultra Premium uh, Premium Collection. Like I said, that's the one with the Rayquaza, um, Rayquaza statue in the middle, and it comes with the player's mat. Um, so I don't know how it is there. I can't, I know I, op I, I bought a few of them. Um, but like I said, I collected a few just from my own personal collection. I like having it there, so I haven't opened them. Um, so I only opened one. 
until today I opened another one so obviously these will be the first time I'll be opening up the packs from that collection to see what are the how good are the pull rates um, from from that collection um, with hidden fates hopefully it's they're good you know hopefully um, there's some good pulls like I said there's 15 packs that come in that collection um, I'm only opening up did I say three yep I'm only opening up three um, from that collection uh, and like I said, I'm going to be saving up those other packs for future pack openings um, that we may have because like I said, Hidden Fates is one of those sets that is always going to be fun to pull to uh, open up uh, just because of the pull rates, um, you know, all the GXs, the Shinies, um, the Rainbows, you know, just everything in general. So, so yeah, so let's get to this. So this is our last pack before we get into Hidden Fates. Um, over there, I, I, I don't know if you guys saw, I pulled the Marnie and the Cinderace Reverse Hollow. I'm not sure if I have that Cinderace Reverse, reverse, reverse Hollow. Um, so hopefully, like I said, obviously you guys have seen my other videos. You guys will see at the end of the video, I always do a little quick little recap of what I pulled and how many I will be able to add to the binder. Um, so going from there, so we got a Reverse Hollow Great Bolt and we have for the rare a Musharna. Alright guys, so let's get into Hidden Fates. Alright guys, so um, now let's get into the Hidden Fates like I was saying before. Uh, like I was saying, there's uh, a lot of things that I can do for this channel. Um, so green and white cold card, always a good sign to start. So like I said guys, uh, comment below, let me know what you guys think I should do for this channel. Um, are you not liking the kind of, are you liking it? Um, like I said, there's not much feedback. Um, so I really don't know what to work off of, but like I said guys, uh, I'm gonna still keep pushing and striding forward um, Hopefully I can um, Get more of an audience and uh, hopefully you guys can start enjoying this um, as much as I am All right, so we got a shiny whooper and for our rare we have Erica's hospitality non hollow um, as you guys are aware the whooper I will the shinies I will be counting as a a card towards the the little competition between Hidden Fates and Sword and Shield. So, um, if you guys saw the first video, uh, was it the first one? No, second one. Yeah, second video, uh, I pulled a whooper <laughs> then as well. So, um, so let's see, let's see what else uh, Hidden Fates has to offer. All right, <laughs> um, I would love to pull another GX. So I looked actually in my binder. The two cards that I'm missing from Hidden Fates are um, Sil uh, Sylveon, of course, and a reverse hollow Caterpie. That is it. That is all I'm missing. I don't know what I'm gonna do because <laughs> clearly it's, you know, it's just got to that point that I'm just like, holy crap, what am I gonna do? <laughs> so when the last pack for Hidden Fates, um, <laughs> so going with the two cards we have back there, the Wooper and the v Stormlux VMAX, the Sword and Shield's uh, clearly clearly the winner at this moment. In you know, unless I pull a um, a GX or a gold card um, or another shiny, there's really no way Hidden Fates is gonna win this competition. Um, like I said, they the way I was scoring it, the last ones we were getting a Hidden Fates won the first one, I believe. And then Sword and Shield on the second one, and then I believe I, the third one I was a tie. So, I don't know guys. <laughs> so, for the last rare for Hidden Fates to come up clutch, so let's see if Hidden Fates could do it. Ready? Three, two, one. Alright, so, no GX, just one shiny for the Hidden Fates. There's no reason for me to open up these other five packs because with that Snorlax VMAX, unfortunately, it outweighs the shiny whooper in my opinion so sword and shield obviously hit the, the odds were always against hidden fates because I was opening up only a few compared to the amount uh, that I was opening up for sword and shield but it literally made it made it come down to the last uh, to a fourth round so um, hidden fates fought well <laughs> I have to say hidden fates fought well it came to the fourth round for um, 
for uh, Sword and Shield to win this little competition between the two. But like I said, the odds were always against Hidden Fates, and they, you know, they fought strong. <laughs> they they definitely fought strong. Um, I cannot complain for what uh, I pulled for each one. Like I said, um, for the Hidden Fates, I pulled a Articuno GX and a Brooklet Brooklet Hill a Gold Card Trainer Card, um, as well as another Shiny Whooper. So and for the for Sword and Shield, I, I know I pulled some pretty good cards. Uh, Tapu Koko, I think it was. Um, it was one of the Tapu ones. Um, I pulled them. Um, which other ones? Uh, Sableye, uh, Full Art, I pulled as well. So I can't, I can't say that, although, like I said, it was a little competition. It was more, you know, it was a little competition between the two, but it was also, um, I was having fun with it because I was able to add cards to my collection. You know, that's... At the end of the day, that's what I'm here to do. I'm, I'm here to have fun opening these packs with you guys, um, letting you guys be part of that journey of of, uh, of opening up all these packs to see what I, how far I can go, um, like how many packs in I need to be to come, to finish a whole set of Sword and Shield. Um, like I said, soon I'll be showing you guys the my binder, and then you guys can see I have a full, I have a few full uh, pages already so those look really nice obviously the nicer ones will be the gold cards and the full art ones so sorry about that little pause guys um, but yeah uh, I don't even know where I was talking about before <laughs> I go in so many tangents sometimes it's hard to like figure out where exactly it was um, um, so yeah we got a Sizzlipede Reverse Hollow Rosalia, and for a rare, we have a Hollow Obstagoon. Alright, so we do have this Hollow Obstagoon. It's a great looking card. I love the Glaring Obstagoon. Um, but I'm looking for the Reverse Hollow <laughs> to help me complete my set. Um, so we got two packs left. Um, like I said, it doesn't make a difference anymore because unfortunately, um, that VMAX, Snorlax, that Snorlax VMAX definitely outweighs that poor Shiny Whooper. So, um, so Sword and Shield won this competition between the two, which one has the better pulls, but I can't stop stressing that the odds were against Hidden Face because of the amount of packs. Maybe I might do another opening, maybe I might do one more competition, I don't know, what is this white thing on me? Uh, maybe I might do one more competition like this in the future, um, with them, uh, but maybe I might level out the playing field, you know, like have, uh, what is this? It just doesn't want to go away. <laughs> um, but laying out, leveling out the playing field, like uh, ten hidden faith and ten sword and shield, um, then kind of, kind of make a little, uh, a little more realistic. You know what I mean? To see which one definitely has a better pull within ten packs of each. Uh, so I might do that later on. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Uh, we got a Rhyhorn. We have a Clavipus. We got a Reverse Hollow Wulu. I'm not sure if I have this one. And for a rare, we have... Ooh, we have a V-card. Alright, so we have a Cramorant V-card. Alright, not a big fan of Cramorant. Um, but I am a big fan of V-cards, so Cramorant V-card. Can't complain. Alright, guys. Zamazenta is our last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Maybe pull up a cold, a... A rainbow or anything like that. So, oh, so unfortunately, we will not be because the green cold card. <laughs> but <laughs> nonetheless, um, you know, hopefully, I get a card there from this pack that I need, regardless. Um, and obviously, like I said, guys, at the end, I always do a recap, seeing what cards I was able to add to the binder, um, if any, and kind of go from there. Also, guys, you guys will see I make a lot of videos. I think the biggest reason I make a lot of videos is because every single pack I open, I record it. Um, because I am trying to fill out my binder and I'm so impatient and I have so many packs that I want to open um, That's why I'm recording so many videos um, Back and forth because I do want to complete my set <laughs> So I'm like hey, I gotta record it because um, I want documentation, you know proof to show you guys that I Was able to complete the whole set by opening up all these packs with you guys. So for our last rare card of the challenge It is a Sandaconda non hollow All right guys so uh, let me clean this up real quick and we'll do a quick recap. All right, Bomb Squad, so uh, quick little recap. So I guess we'll start off with the Hidden Fates once again. Womp, womp, womp. 
Uh, Wolver is the only, uh, really, like, obviously we pulled some rares, um, hollows, but we're only counting shinies, GXs, gold cards, things of that nature. Um, so unfortunately, uh, Wooper is the only card we pulled from Hidden Fates. Um, now from the Sword and Shield packs, we pulled uh, one V card and one V Max. This V card is the uh, Cramorant V card. Uh, we already have this card, so we will not be adding it to the um, binder. But it's always, like always, like I said, um, pulling a V card is always great, regardless. Um, this Norlax V Max, um, I looked through my book before I did this recap, and I do not have it. So I should have been a lot more excited when I pulled it. Um, I'm gonna start probably try to. I'm gonna st start to look at my book um, to see what I'm missing before I uh, start recording, because then I won't get myself confused. Because um, I think I have them, and then I find out that I don't, and then I'm I'm like, oh my god, I did need it. So a lot of emotions, a lot of emotions. So this will be definitely added to the pack, uh, to the binder, um, as well as one, two, three, four, five. So in total, six cards will be added into our binder today. Uh, we have the we weren't we didn't have the Rosalia Reverse Hollow, the Reboot Reverse Hollow, the Cinderace Reverse Hollow, Chinchow Reverse Hollow, the Wulu Reverse Hollow, and the Snorlax V Max. Um, so guys, once again, I appreciate all the love and support. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day, and like always, bomb squad out.